every now and then a product comes along that has so many possibilities. And that's exactly what I thought when I first saw Montmartre Magnetic Canvas. You see it's real cotton canvas bonded to magnetic sheet. So it adheres to anything metal. Hey, my car's metal. How cool would that look? Yeah. But you know what else is a bit boring? My computer at work. That could use some fancying up. And that fridge of mine, it's a bit white and boxy. That definitely needs some artistic embellishment. Hmm. And it's a really fun product. So today I'm going to sketch, paint and create a fun set of fridge magnets with an ocean creature theme. So let's get into it. So for the first step, we need to take a printout of the ocean creature designs. And that's on the PDF and you can find that at montmart.net. Take an 8B pencil and trace around the outline of each design. Try and get as much graphite onto the paper as possible. You'll see why this is important in the next step. Now take a sheet of the canvas. Take your copy and lay it face down over the canvas. Now pull out a bit of tape and adhere the paper to the canvas sheet. Fold it so it's a good bond. Now we can transfer our image. Use a spoon for this on the back of the page. The trick with this is to keep the strokes in the same direction. Press quite hard, but not that hard that you rip the paper. And you should have something that looks like that. The next step is to take a t-shirt marker and we're going to go around each one of those lines. Just take your time and try to faithfully reproduce the pencil impressions. If there is any lines missing, redraw them onto the printout and retransfer it. So now for the fun part, the painting, and this is where you get to be really creative. So for paint, I'm suggesting that we use the acrylic paint and I'm using the 12 pack. For our brushes, you can't go past the Gallery Series brush set. So let's get this paint on. I'm going to paint my blue ringed octopus first. So I charge my brush and fill in my little friend with the orange. I lay the paint on fairly thickly so I can blend other colours into it. By the way, you can paint any of these creatures any colour you like. Now I lay some light yellow onto one side of my cephalopod mate. This will make it look more three dimensional. Now I add some red into the shadow areas. Time now for a little blue into the eyes. And while I have it, let's paint in those lovely blue rings. A white spot for the eye highlight, another for the other, and Bob's your uncle. I'm quite pleased with that. So once that's dry, we can finish them. And we do this again with the t-shirt marker. So just go over everything to neaten it up. This final outline brings it all together. Next, we need to cut it out. And you might want to get mum or dad to give you a hand with this. I find it easier to roughly cut around the design and then fine tune it from there. So let's stick it on the fridge. Wow, how awesome do they look? Well, now that you know how to make them, you can create your own and you can have the most awesome fridge in the world. Why not send us a picture of your awesome fridge? Just send the image to montmart.net. I just love to see them. So until next time, keep on creating art. Well, I have another sheet left, so I'm going to continue with my ocean theme and create a turtle in oils. 